I never really thought that I would be a drag queen. I grew up in musical theater, so I love to sing and dance, and I like costumes and stuff, but I never thought like I would be a one-woman show. So I like to say that drag chose me. So when I first walked into season six, I was 24 years old. I had been doing drag for just about a year, and while I was under Alyssa's wing, I hadn't really had a lot of like one-on-one -on -one attention. So I was a newbie. So to me, RuPaul's Drag Race was like going to a musical theater camp. So that's kind of why I was like so over the top, because when I would go to musical theater camps or summer camps, I always would ham up like during lunch and like put on shows. And so to me, it was like a similar vibe. Like I really felt like this was kind of like a, a project for all of us to go and experience and have fun. I think that I was a little naive in the beginning and now I'm a little bit more aware of my surroundings, the game that we have to play in Hollywood. Most all, what's really different is my intention. You know, I think when I first started this, I wanted to be just a tongue-popping, death-dropping queen. And now I really would like to move into a place of art making and creating pieces that make people think or maybe make them uncomfortable. And not just something that, you know, makes you feel sickening. Because as great as that is, I have so much more to say than just, just death drops and tongue pops. Y'all give it up for the one and only Miss La Gancha. I remember when I was really young and I saw Chorus Line, the musical, for the very first time and there's this great monologue about a boy talking about being a drag queen and he's talking to his parents who have come to the show and they're very uncomfortable and they have this interaction and I remember as a young boy thinking like, I wonder if that'll ever happen to me. Um, and it did, which was kind of interesting, right, because my parents you know, they weren't super on board when I started this. They've opened their eyes to this. They've really grown and seen that this is an art form. If I did not go on RuPaul's Drag Race, my life would be so different. I mean, I travel the world. I am able to teach dance. I'm able to do all these amazing things. Y'all look so good. Are you from Brazil? Drag is a way for me to live. Drag is a way for me to express myself. Drag is a way for me to meet people that are like me, to create a family. Um, but I think most importantly, drag for me is a form of expression. It's a way of, you know, uh, saying things that I necessarily couldn't with my own words or my own look. It's a way to really communicate these deep feelings and emotions that I have. Oh my God, I love you so Thank much. Thank you so much. What I fear the most is being unsuccessful. I fear that my art will not be received well. I fear that I will never find a lover because I do drag. I fear lots of things, but I also think that I channel my fear into my art making, and that's how I'm able to, you know, deal with these challenges and conflicts that come in my life. While I've gone through many different phases, I think the older I get, it's just gonna get more and more strange. Because quite honestly, for me, as much as I've loved being a pretty fishy queen, I'm bored, girl. I'm ready to turn it up and do something else. There's enough of these pretty girls walking around. I wanna get weird. There is so much I still have to show the world. What you are seeing here today is truly just the beginning. I remember in my audition tape for RuPaul's Drag Race, I said that. I said, I really feel like this is a launch pad for a fruitful and vibrant career. And that's where I'm at right now. I'm at this big pivotal moment where something's about to change, not only within me, but with what you guys see. So I can't tell you exactly what it's gonna look like, but what I can tell you is I'm very excited for my future and I know I've got a lot of big, bright, and high things ahead. Hey, squirrel friend. When one video ends, just open up another one. It's called binge viewing. Go ahead. I support you.